All right, everybody. Hello once again and good day. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are coming to you live here with MLA Move Language Ahead. It is our third episode of the MLA Chit Chat Club, uh, designed to get students talking and just sharing experience uh, with some of your favorite MLA team members uh, from the past. So without further ado, let me go ahead and welcome our panelists uh, today. First, we have uh, Anthony, who's joining us. Hi, Anthony. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Anthony, tell us a little bit of how you're connected to the MLA family and where are you right now? So I was an activity leader in Galway in Ireland last year um, over the summer. It was really great. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then I stayed in touch a little bit with the MLA family and we still have our group chat with the other with the other activity leaders running. So it's been a really great experience. And I'm now in Poland because I want to visit my parents. Um, and because I came from Ireland last week, I have to stay in quarantine. So I'm on my own for a little bit, but only a few days left and I'll be I'll be away with my parents. Excellent, Anthony. Thanks so much for joining us today. And then good morning to Morgan. Hi, Morgan. How are you? Tell us a little Hi, bit guys. about yourself, how you're connected to the MLA family, and where you're calling in from today. Hi, everyone. Um, so two, for two years, I worked at MLA in the, in the California site over at Pitzer, um, and I was the campus administrator. And then this last summer, I was in um, the campus at Ramapo, uh, again, being the campus administrator. So I've been with MLA for the past three years. And currently, I am calling in from my home classroom in New Jersey in the States. So That's awesome. Yeah. So we've got somebody from New Jersey in the United States. We've got Anthony from Poland here. Um, both of them involved a little bit now in education, one as a student getting a higher degree, one who's actually teaching. Let's talk a little bit about that and how our lives have changed, uh, you know, so dramatically over the past uh, weeks here. So, uh, Anthony, I understand you're studying for your master's degree, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, I'm doing my master in social work right now in Trinity College in Dublin. And yeah, everything's been flipped a little bit upside down since, since um, the whole situation started. So uh, we've got all of our classes online now. So we actually use Zoom a lot, um, which is actually, it's a really nice platform and I've never heard of it before, like two weeks ago. So um, it's great because it, it's nice to be able to see everybody else and to talk to our professors and to our class. And it's, it's a really great way of kind of making the best of the current situation. And so far, the classes have been actually really nice. And yeah, there were moments when you could even forget that you're not actually there with the people in the classroom because it's, yeah, it's very personal. And it's very nice. But yeah, I'm looking forward to being back in September. What do you think is the biggest challenge of doing your classes online? What, what maybe our students could be experiencing too? What do you find is your biggest challenge? I find it really hard to focus. Uh, over the internet compared to actually being in the classroom. When you're in the actual class and everybody's there and you can have an actual conversation, it's so much more engaging. Whereas online, even though it's the best option we have, it's, I find myself kind of drifting away or I'll get distracted by something in my room or, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to pay as much attention, I'd say. Absolutely. And then Morgan, on the other hand, Morgan actually, when she's not working for MLA, she's her own superhero. She teaches uh, middle school students. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you teach and how you've been working with this new schedule and this new atmosphere. Sure thing. So I teach seventh grade English. So my students are about 11 or 12 years old. So this was definitely different for them because at that age, they have a bundle of energy. So to have them at one spot, it's very similar to what Anthony was saying. It's hard to keep them focused during the Zoom meetings, especially because different things happening at home. If they have like younger siblings that they're helping out with or, you know, things like that. It's hard to get all my kids online at one time. So I've been doing multiple Zoom meetings throughout the day. And actually my school moved to an AB schedule. So I only teach now um, twice during the week, like those are English days. And then um, we have like one like conferencing day where I can just kind of conference with my kids and see my kids. I actually also coach a couple of the sports teams at my school too. So I've been doing video workouts with my kids too, which is funny because they get to see, you know, me kind of make a fool out of myself online as I, you know, all my back muscles crack as I'm jumping up and down in my room. Um, but it's definitely been important to like, you know, talk with my kids and keep an open line of communication. But I think this kind of also brought us a little bit closer together too. So that's a benefit of it. 
Yeah, awesome. Hey, before we go any further, we've got a lot of attendees on the uh, uh, chat with us. We have over 44 people today and they're calling from all over the world. So don't forget, we want this to be as interactive as possible. So make sure that you're chatting us with putting questions inside the chat, but also really important, if you have a question you would like to ask to one of our panelists or even to myself, go ahead and hit the raise hand button on your uh, Zoom attendee. It's the little hand icon that's down at the bottom there. We would love to get you speaking with us and asking your question live here on the Chit Chat Club as we move forward, okay? So thanks for that. Guys, we really appreciate you guys uh, being here today. And I know that uh, fitting in with your schedules, your academic schedules, both teaching and taking your lessons is difficult. Um, let's talk about a little bit about staying home and, and what it's been like. What is the thing that you've missed the most? Is it is it seeing your friends? Is it going out to restaurants? Is it the shopping mall? What would you say, Morgan, is the thing that you miss the most? Um, I think what I miss the most is I'm the salt, like I was saying, I coach a lot of sports. I'm the softball coach. So right now for me, my like whole persona is supposed to be outside playing sports and I'm doing the opposite of that. And I think that's driving me a little bit crazy because especially on the days where it's beautiful here in the States and in New Jersey, we've had one of the nicest springs we have ever had. And, you know, usually it rains so much. It's not really raining here and I can't go outside with my team and play. So I think that's been something really difficult for me. And I think it's difficult for my kids too. Absolutely. How about you, Anthony? What do you miss the most? Yeah, exactly. Exactly what you said, Morgan, with, with kind of missing your persona. I also feel like I, I can't really do the things that I normally would do because I'm not really an endorsed person either. And I feel like I just can't really be myself to the same extent as I used to be in kind of going out with friends and, uh, I'm also a scout leader, so I also work with children and we usually have activities twice a week and everything's been suspended together with the schools. And uh, well, I'm, I'm also not even seeing my family right now because I have to stay in quarantine as well. So it's just kind of a bit lonely, I'd say. And that's a bit that's a bit upsetting. Luckily, like with the Internet and everything that makes it so much better. But I, like, I can't imagine doing this, say, 30 years ago and staying sane. But um, so it's nice to have Facebook and to have WhatsApp and to be in touch with friends. So we can catch up in a different way, but it's, it's definitely different. A lot of books, I think, 30 years ago, not as much of the yeah. internet <laughs> yeah. happening. So it's there. So a lot of people uh, on the chat saying that, yeah, they definitely agree. They're missing their friends and family. They miss walking around the city. They miss having the beautiful days, the weather. Um, you know, this is one of the nicest periods where the seasons are changing and they said that they're missing that as well. So that's definitely great. Don't forget, guys, if you want to join us here live, just raise your hand. We'll be able to get you to unmute your microphone and you can participate uh, with our panelists. But what about TV, guys? Have you been watching TV? Is there any current TV series or anything on Netflix that you guys have been binge watching? Anthony, what, what have you been doing entertainment wise? I have been watching uh, a lot of TV series. I've been watching a lot of The Office. I've been watching the reruns <laughs> and Parks and Recreation as well. Um, and I'm catching up on, on all the old episodes, so, which is really great. Um, so so Anthony, a lot of people you know, know that The Office was a, was a sitcom that started over in the UK and then was adapted in the US. Which one are you watching? Are you watching the original one over in the UK or are you watching the American adaptation? I'm watching the American one. Yeah. Okay. Have you also, seen? I do think the British one is great as well, but um, but they're a bit I different think, from each other. I think it was Ricky Gervais, right? Yeah. Is the guy in the UK one, and then Steve Carell played the lead character, one of the lead characters in the US yeah. version. So awesome! Hey, Morgan, what about you? What have you been doing entertainment-wise? So I think Anthony and I are actually meant to be best friends because those are also two of my favorite shows. Um, I have a, I binge a lot of the same TV over and over again, despite all of the new content, because it's just what I love. So I'm going to throw in one more to, from what Anthony's list was, and I'm going to add Brooklyn Nine-Nine, yeah. which is one of my all-time favorite shows as well. Um, but I just keep watching them on a loop because they're the kind of shows, they're like short episodes, they're like feel good, and I think they're just like so happy and upbeat for when you're like, like, you, like we talked about earlier, when you're kind of bummed out at home. So it's like something good to like bring a little like laughter to your day, so. Yeah. I don't think a lot of our students know what Brooklyn Nine-Nine is. I don't think that's gone over to Europe that well. So tell us a little bit about that show that's based in New York, right? It's a, it's a comedy yes. about police. Yes, so it is Andy Samberg, who is a, um, I think he was on SNL and he was uh, the lead singer of The Lonely Island, which was like a comedy um, band. And he is a police officer out of Brooklyn, um, and the precinct they have is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. 
and it's just like all of like the hijinks and everything they get into um and like just all of the characters are very strong like very funny characters um as well there are like two um female cops one who is like very like type a like very structured has a binder and one who's like known for being like rough and tumble and like no everyone's afraid of her kind of thing so it's just very it's like goofy it's basically like if the office was set in a uh, police precinct okay very good great description let's go back to our students now uh, anybody on the attendees go ahead and raise your hand let's see if we can get a question from one of you guys uh, there's got to be something out there that you've been dying to ask one of our former activity leaders or our former MLA managers who wants to ask the first question today raise your digital hand by clicking that button there on zoom let's see if we can get somebody here to talk with us uh, in the meantime Pablo says love all of those shows he yes. says uh, Ricky and Morty he says, oh, and the IT crowd. That must oh, be man. reference to the office, right? Is that what he's talking about? Oh, I don't know, I haven't IT seen crowd, the office. That is, um, it's similar. Um, I've heard of that. That's the guy, it's the, it's, I, I've, I've heard of that one. I think I watched one episode or so. It's, I think it has a similar vibe to the office, yeah. All right. Well, Pablo, you can also raise your hand, too. We'd love to get you in with us today. All right. As people are getting comfortable here and starting to loosen up so they can ask some questions, let's go on and we can start to play our uh, first game today. So the main today is going to be what's called Fun with Flags. Okay. This is going to be our, our interactive game for activity leaders. They have no idea what we're doing. They have been prepped in any way. So this is completely off the cuff. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a picture of a flag from around the world and i want you our global activity leaders to tell us what country or territory that flag represents okay how are we with geography anthony are you good with geography i like geography yeah all right good what about you morgan i no longer like my chances of winning this game <laughs> and i would love for somebody to join us too so somebody please raise your hand we want to get some people in here to participate with us so raise that hand we want to get you on here and you guys can join us in our fun with flags but here we go we'll start with our first one um since uh morgan's a little bit scared we'll start with anthony <laughs> we'll do a warm-up here so here comes your first flag ready oh that's nepal that is nepal wow look at you go I don't know. Can we see that? Okay, there it is. Yeah, and Nepal's pretty easy, right? Because it's, it's one of the awesome. only flags that is not a rectangle, so it's got a really unique shape. All right, that was really good. All right, uh, make sure to raise your hands. Let's get some people in here to join us too. So I love to get some students or people talking in here. Morgan, this one's coming to you. This one I think is a little bit of a softball. All right, let's All see right. if you can get it. No pun intended. Our softball. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see here. Here we go. Ready? Oh, that's Australia. Bang, look at you, see? That's all right. <laughs> that's not that bad, that's right. This is the flag <laughs> from Australia, perfect. Got a little Union Jack up here in the corner, former yeah, colony. Yeah, it's just like me. Hold on, let's see if I can see it. I don't know how oh. you go. There we go. <laughs> Talk about fun with flags. <laughs> yeah, you're well prepared. You've taken that to a whole new level. Yeah. yeah, see, I promise everybody out there, they haven't been prepared for this. This is it. Okay, uh, this one, let's go for it. Let's go to the chat. Okay, since nobody's raised their hand to join us, I'm going to show you all the, the picture, and then I want you to write into the chat what you all think this flag is going to be. Okay, ready? Give me one second. And here we go. This is the next flag. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't like with my background. Hold on here. We're gonna take away the we're gonna take away the background is probably the best thing. Let's go for that one. All right. Matteo. Matteo wrote in really quickly. Matteo put in Romania. Romania is correct. This yeah. is the All right, Matteo. of <laughs> Romania. Well, way to go. All right, Matteo. Excellent. Good job there. All right, so here we go. So this next one, let's go back to Anthony. Let's see if you can get this one. I thought this one was a little bit hard. All right, ready? Oh, wait, wait Ooh, for I it. I can't see. Uh, that's Egypt, I think. Wow. Look at you, Anthony. That's, how do you know that that was Egypt? It, uh, well, I, I don't actually know. That was a pretty good guess. I knew it's somewhere kind of in, in the Middle East Africa region. That was my guess. I was going to see either Egypt or Yemen, but. Yeah, there you go. It's got the little, like, um, like the little eagle. Like, yeah. 
inside of it. So there it is. And, and kind of the writing underneath it may have given it away, but it was too small, I think, to see it on the screen. Excellent job. There we go. Wow. Not as, not as challenging as I thought. All right. <laughs> come on. Here comes, a real, here comes a real easy one. Let's go ahead and give this one to the chat group. Let's give this to the students. Chat with me when you know what the flag is, okay? And Mateo, you're too good. So uh, Mateo, you have to wait five <laughs> seconds before you, before you respond, Mateo. All right, here we go. Everybody in the chat, ready? Go. There we go. Look at that. We've got a couple people now coming in real quick. Mateo waited five seconds. He still got it correct. <laughs> <laughs> He's there, but we got a lot of people else joining us. That's right, the land of maple syrup <laughs> right here. This is Canada. Oh, Canada, just north of the United States here. We've got a great campus uh, in Toronto at Humber College um, that's really nice. So maybe some of our students out there will get a chance to experience Canada. Or, you know, from New York, we also have that Canadian experience where you stay in New York and then you get the weekend uh, in Canada. So that's really great. All right, here we go. This one goes back to Morgan. I think Morgan is up. All right, ready, Morgan? Yes. There you go. Here's your flag. Fun with flags. That's Puerto Rico. That is not Puerto Rico. No! I feel like it, I don't know. I need, can I use a lifeline? Mateo, where's Mateo? You're getting some help on the chat. Oh, it's Sweden. Chile. Chile, that's right. Okay, this also looks very similar to the flag of Texas. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it like Texas. It looks like the Texas flag too, which is you know one of the big states here in the United States. So there you go, but no, it is Chile. So Ooh. Chile was correct, all the, all the guys on the chat there. Nice job. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go to, let's go back to the chat. So here comes to the students. All right. Now, here we go. Ready? All the students in the chat. Mateo, you still have to wait five seconds. <laughs> Ready? Fun with flags. I think it's a pretty easy one, though. Ooh. Ooh, it's a stumper, actually. We haven't gotten the correct answer. Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, Saviro. Saviro is the first one to come up with South Korea. That's right. South Korea is correct. So Korea is split into two territories, but South Korea, this is their flag. So there it is. Um, Elizabeth has said Japan. That was a good guess. Japan, though, is, remember, it's the uh, white flag with the red circle uh, in the center of it. So that was a really good guess. But this is definitely going to be Korea. Okay. All right. Anthony, this one's for you. This one's a little bit of a trick but I think you might be able to get it. And if not, we're going to go to Morgan. But oh, we'll see what happens. Or Mateo. Okay. Here we go. Or Mateo. Or Mateo. Yeah, Mateo, you can answer this one too, Mateo. I don't know if you're going to get this one. Here we go. Anthony, ready? Yeah. Wow. Okay, no, you got me here. Um, wow. Let's oh, see if Mateo oh, has an answer oh, on the chat. Morgan, don't say what different? it is, but Morgan, do you know what it is? I think I have an idea. Okay. Mateo doesn't know. I stumped oh. Mateo on this too. Is it a country? It's not a country, is it? Is it a territory? That's right. It is not a country. Okay. It's not a country. Oh, you really got us there, Carson. Okay. Um, is it a U.S. state or... All right, it is a U.S. Okay. state. Very good. This is a U.S. state. All of the 50 states in the United States, they each have a flag um, that represents them, and this is one of them. Someone, someone popped a guess in the chat. Do you think? Hey, there you go. It's our friend Alex down in Argentina from Face to Tourism and Education. Yes, correct. This is the state of Maryland, or as I like wow. to say, the great state of Maryland. <laughs> this is my home. Here we go. We love our flag. This is our flag here, <laughs> all right? So yes, this is actually interesting because this is a medieval coat of arms. So um, from uh, King Charles. So Charles is Charles County in Maryland and uh, Maryland is after Queen Mary. So there's a lot of connection there to, uh, to the British Royal. So this is uh, the coat of arms there and that's Maryland. I think it's the best state flag. 
um, that's out there. Much like Morgan, a lot of people have this on a tattoo. I don't, I don't have any tattoos, but <laughs> everybody really likes their, uh, likes their flag. So there you go, guys. That was fun with flags. Thanks for playing along. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's see if we can get some students to ask some questions today. Who's got some questions, guys? Raise those hands on Zoom. We want to talk with somebody. They don't want to hear me talk. They want to hear you talk. <laughs> Who is ready to ask the first question today? Anybody brave enough to raise their hand? You can ask anything you want. Okay, we have Alex here who's gonna join us. One second here. Hi, Alex, how are you today? You guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now, Alex. Uh, Hi, uh, thanks for joining us. You're calling in from Argentina, correct? Correct, I'm calling in from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I've been living here for about seven years, but I'm originally from California. So first, Carson, the California flag is pretty cool as well. I will admit the Maryland flag is, is nice. Um, okay, so, so I have two questions. So for Morgan, I see that you have the Union Jack on your arm. I was wondering what made you get that? Did you visit um, England? What's the story about that? So actually, when I was in my undergraduate at Ryder, um, I had the opportunity to study abroad for a semester and I traveled all across Europe and I fell in love with the entirety of Europe, but I was like stationed, my home university was in England. So as soon as I got home, I was like, I need a Union Jack. That was the greatest experience of my life. And then actually, ironically enough, you mentioned you're from California. When I was over in California for MLA, I loved it so much over there that I got the California bear as well. So very nice. Very I like nice. to have like, you know, every all, all the places I've been to, everything that's important to me is somewhere on my body. <laughs> of course, of course. Perfect. And so you mentioned you had gone to England out of all of the different cities that you had gone to England. I think maybe I'll be going next year. What is the place that you would most recommend? Um, in England specifically, I love the Lake District, which is up in the north. Actually, if okay. you're familiar with the Beatrix Potter series as like a little kid, that's where mm -hmm. all of those, that's where like Peter Rabbit and everything came from. It was stunning. It was just so calm. The and Lake beautiful. District. Okay. Yeah. Very yeah, nice. All right. And then cruises yeah. around there. We used to have a center up there. I think our, our closest center now would probably be Manchester. Um, in Manchester, from Manchester, you have some a uh, couple day trips where you get to cruise around the Lake District and see it. Beautiful little colleges, very rural. It's it's a really beautiful. Ah, very nice. Yeah, okay, awesome. just just one last one, uh, Anthony. Okay, so you had said that uh, you would return from England, or I or you were in Wales. You said right. In Ireland. Oh, you were in Ireland. Okay, so you returned from Ireland and you went back home to see your family. So you're in Poland. So. Yeah. I imagine that you're born and raised in Warsaw in Poland, yeah? Actually, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a story because my parents work for the foreign office. So okay. actually we moved from embassy to embassy my whole life. So Ireland's the seventh country in which I'm a permanent resident. Um, you're a permanent resident to seven countries. Oh yeah. my goodness, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm still jealous. resident in three of them legally, so... Uh, okay. Yeah. So what does your passport say? What, what color is your passport? Poland. It's burgundy. It's Polish. But yeah. Very nice, very nice. Well, hey guys, thank, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Alex. We always appreciate you joining us here on the call. And I think for all the people um, that are home, we need to make sure we explain California. This is the state flag of California. Yeah. Um, so that way you can see that, right? So it's really unique. It's got a bear in it. It's got a star. Um, it's green, it's red. It's really kind of fun. So it's a nice flag. It's a cool flag. Uh, but it's not as cool as the Maryland flag. <laughs> so there we go. All right, guys. So it doesn't look like we have anybody else that has raised their hand so far. Continue to ask those questions inside of the chat. We still have a few more minutes to get to your questions. But in the meantime, let's move on to our last game that we have today for Activity Leaders. This one is going to be a fun game. This is uh, something that is totally outside of my league. This is called Hot or Not. Okay, so I'm going to give you some things that are in pop culture right now, things that are happening uh, in our world or things that you see on social media. And I want you guys to tell our students whether or not you think these are hot or not. All right. Okay. Make Can sense? Our thumbs or? or... No, uh, I think we'll just go one by one because I want to know why you think they're hot or not. And some of these things you might have to explain. Hopefully our students know what some of these things are because I don't know what a lot of these things are too. So here we go. We're going to start with, with Morgan. Hot or not, the word fire. 
Um, I feel like it used to be pretty like hot, but now it's like kind of like simmering down. Um, my <laughs> students always let me know when I am no longer cool when I am cringy instead. And when I use that, I'm cringy. So I guess that one's a little bit over now. <laughs> All right, how would you use the word fire in a sentence? Like if you're eating something very delicious, like, oh my God, that's fire. That's fire. So you're yes. using, and that's a good thing, right? Yes, it's like, it, it replaced like the 90s version of like, oh my God, that's the bomb, so. So we went from the bomb to that's fire. Yes. And what was, what's the new version of that now, if it's not hot? Um, now I think we're at lit is the new lit. one. If I'm not, I mean, again, my kids do not think I am the most hip person in the world, but I believe that is the term now. <laughs> All right. Here oh, we go. Anthony, here you go, Anthony, on to you. Uh, hot or not, TikTok dances. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the deal with, I don't even have TikTok, so I, I <laughs> uh, so I actually, I think, yes, hot, but I also don't know anything about them. Uh, because they've become such a phenomenon and same kind of like a lot of my kids are on TikTok and they're doing all the dances and I completely don't get it, but I appreciate it. Um, I don't know anything about TikTok, but I, I see a lot of people yeah. and a lot of celebrities on TikTok now too. So, hey, look, anybody out there wants to raise their hand, we'd love to get your opinion on hot or not. I've got a couple more questions here. We've Please got tell a few us about more. TikTok because I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, if anybody has done TikTok dances, Please raise your hand and explain that to us. So here we go. Let's go back down to Morgan. Hot or not, toilet paper. Um, well, that is, the, that is gold right now, actually. That's not <laughs> my paychecks. It's just they, they have rolls of toilet paper at my doorstep. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But um, I thought it was especially, so in New Jersey where I am, it's one of the um, hardest hit states. So the toilet paper thing was like a really big thing. And I didn't understand how, being safe from an illness equated to going to the bathroom a lot. So I just more, I thought it was more humorous and I like the memes behind it more so oh, than yeah. you know, the craziness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the United States has a fascination with this toilet tissue, uh, toilet <laughs> paper, um, but that's all you see in the United States is that we're buying a lot of toilet paper. So uh, I don't know what that says about Americans, but all right, so there we go. So toilet paper is still hot. Anthony, oh, perfect, here we go. Hot or not, Zoom gatherings. Oh, hot. hot. <laughs> Definitely hot. I think there, I think Zoom is so great, to be honest. I'm not, I don't want to do like a product placement, but we've used a lot of other things in college as well until we settled down on Zoom and none of them were as good. So I am actually a big fan of Zoom. All right, well, there you go. So Zoom is currently hot. Yeah, you know, Zoom is fun because Zoom can not only be used as an education platform or for meetings like we're having now, but people are having social gatherings with Zoom too. So yeah. just connecting with relatives, um, even having dinner with them where they set it across the table and everybody's eating their own dishes or some people are playing game nights um, on Zoom. So they're doing board games with having the Zoom meetings, uh, even the virtual happy hours, you know, on Friday days at the end of work where we can all uh, you know relax a little bit if you're 18 in Europe or 21 in the United States <laughs> so yeah but that's perfect all right here we go back down to Morgan a uh, hot or not the Simpsons is that still a thing I have to be honest I haven't watched it in years but I feel like it's always going to be hot because it's always relevant and they predict the future apparently in these Simpson episodes um According to, again, social media, there's always, they always have like, The Simpsons predicted this 20 years ago in this episode. So I feel like, and it's a classic, regardless of your age, everybody knows The Simpsons. So I'm going to say yes, that's still hot. What do you think, Anthony? Do you agree? Simpsons yeah. hot? Yeah, it's the it's same. I think it's timeless. Um, although I, I think it definitely was hotter in the past, but now, now it's still pretty hot, I'd say. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put this one out to the chat club. So you need to tell us hot or not, okay? So just write hot or not in the chat. This is a fashion one. So I think this is perfect for our students um, and people that are joining us on here. What about uh, denim jackets? Denim jackets, hot or not? What do you think? Denim jackets, wearing a denim jacket right now, like a jean jacket, is that hot or is that not? Go ahead and put it inside the chat. While we're waiting on that, I don't know. What do you think, Anthony? Hot or not? Denim jackets. 
I think hot, although I don't own any, but I do think they're nice. Okay, we've got some mixed opinions. Rita says hot. Uh, Giovanna says I love it, but Laura says not. Laura is over denim jackets. She's not in on it. What do you think, Morgan? Hot or not, denim jackets? I really hope it's hot because I love mine. So, oh, I am, uh, but I have to see what the chat says because a lot of, I noticed that when I was abroad in England, the European fashion culture, I just loved it so much. So I came back to America and tried to copy that. So now I love using, having MLA and talking to the students and telling me how I should dress to make sure that I remain well-dressed. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have a few more minutes here. I've got two more. So let's see if we can go ahead and get through them here. Keep on chatting in your opinions with hot or not here on our Chit Chat Club. Anthony, um, I don't know if you've heard about this. This, again, I think it's something very uh, popular in the United States, but hot or not, the TV show Tiger King. Oh, I don't know, because I've, I've seen so many memes and <laughs> kind of Reddit articles about it, but I actually don't know anything about it. So maybe Is Morgan, could you, could you enlighten me? Has it been released in Europe? Do you know if you can get it on Netflix in Europe, Tiger you can King? You get it on Netflix, yeah. And I know some of my friends have started watching it. I don't think it's hit quite as much as in the US just yet. So Tiger King is a, is a documentary and it is about people in the United States who have um, tigers. They have, they have big cats, so lions and tigers and leopards, but they have them as um, pets. Like they are not in proper zoos. Um, they, they, the people that own them think that they have like a zoo or they have a background to have these, these amazing animals. Um, but they're, they're a little bit crazy and uh, they go through their lives and what it's about. Um, it definitely is an interesting portrayal of American life that I don't think represents a lot of Americans. I think it's a very small part of our population, but it has taken over um, our, our, uh, our world. I mean, everybody in the United States, I think has seen Tiger King and um, it's a crazy series. So if you have an opportunity to watch an episode, it's, it's, it's on Netflix, it's called Tiger King. And then um, you guys can come back and chat with us next week and you can tell us what, what do you think about it? What, what about you, Morgan? Hot or not, Tiger King? I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm one of the only people left in the entire United States who has not watched it. But I feel like, kind of like what Anthony was saying, I feel like I watched it just on the memes alone. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. Well, if you have a chance, you can watch it. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> it's so popular that I think that people are just watching it anyway, so there you go. All right, we've got time for one more. So we're gonna put this in here. And I also, I wanna hear so much from our students. So please type into our chat, uh, let us know what your thoughts are, but a uh, hot or not, Morgan, Snapchat. Um, I still love my Snapchat, but I have to say, I have moved on to TikTok now. I am not a strong dancer, but I love the audio dubs that they do. So basically you act out a scene with like a different audio for it. So I am transitioned over to the TikTok. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're, you're not hot or you're not on uh, Snapchat. That's what you said, right? Snapchat's over. <laughs> Valerie agrees with you. Valerie says not hot anymore. What about you, Anthony? Snapchat, hot or not? I think it used to be hot and now it's slowly dying, unfortunately. Yeah. What are you going to do? All right. Well, guys, thanks so much. That was really fun. That was our Hot or Not episode. We are, uh, we're just about out of time here. So I just want to thank all of our attendees that were out there, especially those that were chatting along with us. Thanks to Alex, who was brave enough to raise his hand and join us with a couple really great questions. But most importantly, um, thanks to you guys. Thanks, Anthony, for joining us from Poland. I hope you well with your studies. I hope that things remain safe over there in Poland and that we can get back to having fun with our MLA students in the near future. Uh, Morgan, thanks for you for joining us up there in New Jersey. We hope you stay safe. We know you're just a little bit uh, away from New York City. We've all seen what's happening in that New Jersey, New York area. Um, really, our hearts and prayers go out to all of our friends uh, in that area, all the healthcare workers and everybody that's doing their best to keep us safe. So stay home, be well, and hopefully we get back to another program uh, real soon with you. So thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you guys for so having me. All right, guys. Well, to all the students out there, it's been a real pleasure. We hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode of the MLA Chit Chat Club. Don't forget, we're going to be coming to you live tomorrow 
with our MLA Kitchen. It's our uh, fourth edition of MLA Kitchen. We're going to the UK and we have Carla Jones cooking some British scones with clotted cream and jam. Mm -hmm. uh, and then next week we have our teacher training um, uh, talk time episode on Wednesday. We're gonna be right back here next Thursday with the MLA Chit Chat Club and then the kitchen coming to you live from South America um, next week. So guys, we hope you have a great week. Thanks for spending your time with us today. And um, we will see you again real soon. All right. Bye, all. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.